you can tell Easter is over because now the discount Easter candy is starting to appear in my house. You don't, you don't see Easter candy in old people houses until it is after Easter because no one wants to spend money on this trash. Like, I understand this, but it's just, it's amazing. You know what's even worse? This is the same thing of animal crackers that we've had for the longest time. Talk about extraneous value. Like, <sighs> what is up YouTube? M. Cole Forty here. I just woke up and it is time to have a sweet ass discussion video because that's what the fuck we do on this channel. All right, let's go dig into the fucking OCG discussion I want to have. All right, so we're having an OCG tournament this month on Zodiac. It was my idea, not John's. Um, we were going to do TCG, but I thought it would be irrelevant, honestly, to be doing a format that's not going to exist in May. Uh, one of the most important things that I find in life is being prepared for the future. And we were focusing on the OCG. Now, this is why is this discussion important to you? Um, it's important that you get your feet a little bit wet with the feature matches that we're going to be featuring on this channel this month. Um, I wanted to discuss the OCG metagame in this video a little bit more extensively, and also in this video, I want you to be aware of what is coming in the TCG in the future. Now, you have to remember we have Flames of Destruction coming soon, and with the Flood, we have the bullshit Troy Mare engine. And I've I've got a discussion video at some point. It might be up before this. It might be up before the or after this. Uh, talking about if the Troy Mare were an inherent mistake in terms of the advancement of the Link mechanic, but that's not the point. <sighs> the Layer of Darkness structure deck is where we're going to start, because that is some fucking bullshit. So, for those of you that don't know about the Layer of Darkness structure deck, uh, most people, including myself, we all agree that the Layer of Darkness structure deck wasn't... It wasn't particularly up to my standards as a competitive player. When I first was looking at it, I was like, Oh yeah, you know, it doesn't look that good. The ability to tribute and pull out trap cards from your deck, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't seem that good. But, but you know what really brings it on home for the deck? You guys, you guys remember the... The field spell? Yeah, yeah. I, I, wait, the, the Layer Darkness deck had a had a field spell? Yeah, a really good field spell that allows you to make everything on the field dark. And you might be like, hmm, hmm, what's Robbie talking about here? Well, let me fucking, I fucking hate the internet some days. I really fucking do. The ability for you to fucking play this goddamn bullshit field spell and make every fucking thing on the field goddamn dark, and then to top things off, you fucking tell me that you can fucking tribute your opponent's monsters. Okay, your official wording is, uh, well, if you attribute a monster to activate a card or effect, you can tribute one dark monster your opponent controls as if you controlled it. You know what enemy controller says? Tribute a card for cost. You know what the virus cards say? Tribute for cost. That's not the fucking shit we care about. Every Infernoid ever says you can tribute a monster. Target one monster in your opponent's graveyard and banish it. So what you're telling me is... We have found a successful way to abuse a field spell yet again. Thank you, Konami. You you all thought that this was... This was some like, oh, Infernoids are going up in value 3.0 the trick. Uh, this'll fail, it'll, it'll never take off, no. This is this is a thing in the OCG, and this is this is very very troublesome as a thing. Not only do you get to blanket your opponent's field as dark monsters, every infernoid turns into some sort of nuke engine. And I've heard the oh, but the OCG has three grab. No, you're not playing the sixty card variant of the deck. You're not being trash. All right, this is I have very strong opinions about this. I understand that you you have this 
unscrapable mentality of, oh, Inferno is only going with 60 cards. Well, congratulations. Your mentality hasn't been corrected yet to tell you or to educate you on anything better. And it's really shameful that people still stick to the same mentality so people cannot explore metagame potential. 40 card variants of things such as this, oh, the deck is disgusting. Controlling the opponent's field, the ability to manipulate the opponent's scenario, like, it's it's bullshit. And to top things off, you know, I can go Lilith and bring out a Void Feast. You know, in an engine, in a deck that was already disruptible as it was, you know, it's it's so beautiful. It really is, and I, I can already tell you, going forward, uh, once we get all of that into our actual compact metagame, that you're going to be very frustrated. You already thought that having ducks playing the game... I, I've already heard infinite complaints about True Draco being able to play the game on your turn. I bet you can't fucking wait until you get void feasted when the fucking Lair Darkness field spells on the field. You're just like, mm, I fucking love this game. You know, and it's it's gonna be it's gonna be that bad. At the end of the day, I... I don't know what more I can honestly tell you other than, you know, the ride never ends. You know, you always have to realize, you think you're going to clean up one thing, you may as well leave the one less troublesome thing alone, because the next one's going to be even worse. <laughs> you know, that's, that's how it goes at the end of the day. Next one I want to talk about. I think it'll be the only other one for this video. We'll see. But, Sky Striker. Now... Sky Striker has two variants to it, and I, I've been talking about the Goki mashup Troy Mare deck for a little while on this channel. Uh, it's basically, the deck has the, the ability to uh, extra deck lock out your opponent, or extra link out your opponent, so your opponent can't take any of the extra monster zones. On top of the Goki engine and your homie Firewall Dragon, back at it again saying, fuck you to engaging in the game. It's a... Uh, fucking Firewall, man. Why... Even at one, Firewall's ability to infinitely spam out monsters from your hand and climb link zones is even fucking stupid to this day. I just... I understand where they were going when they designed it, but having that card be at any more than one ever, cards should just outright be banned at this point in time. If you... When you get the chance to look at Goki Troy Mare, when the deck starts comboing off, you'll you'll honestly start to understand that, oh, this fucking trash is so unfair that it actually just hurts. And as a combo deck, oh, I mean it's 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 awesome. It's it's fun, but at the end of the the combo extension and things like that, you know, it uses the Sky Striker engine to generate tokens, which are warriors, to uh, you know, kind of climb the Soul Day ladder, and Soul Day, I love how Soul Day is just turning into a more and more degenerate card. Decks at this point in time are just like, fuck it, we can play the four shit tier equipped cards, because I can add Divine Sword Phoenix Blade back to my hand, which is actually fine. Turns into discard fodder for whichever fucking Troy Mare I want. Oh, did I also mention that specific Troy Mare might allow me to set Soul Charge? Hmm. This is, this is already inherently unfair, right? But fuck it. It's a combo deck, so it can be fair. You know, if, if you've got Infernoids over here sitting in the corner, beating each other off with the fucking Lair Darkness field spell, they're like, oh, I contribute myself. You know, at, at, at some point, you're just like, no, that's not how that works. And then, of course, the other variant to the deck, which I actually think Net Knights are going to get power corrupt out for the Sky Striker engine. And I, I really do like what Sky Strikers give to the Invoked Engine. I definitely think we're going to be seeing the TCG variant of the deck going towards that. Sky Strikers' ability to incorporate the Invoked Engine into the deck, I I was a little bit worried about it when I first saw it, because I, I, I like the pure variant to the build a lot more than uh, the builds that kind of degenerate it and make it a little bit less pure. But honestly, at the end of the day, the Sky Striker engine is phenomenal for what it does. You're just unfortunately playing a little bit slower of a control variant, which actually isn't a bad thing. Um, not at all. But I, th I think in terms of the Sky Striker engine, the engine is very degenerate. Oh, you guys are... 
If you got complaints about Masterpiece now, I bet you can't fucking wait for Steal My Monster and attack me with it the deck. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, Widow Anchor is pretty good. <laughs> the ability to toggle out into two monsters, also pretty good. The ability to add back one to hand, yeah, that's pretty good. The, the stipulation of not having a monster in the main monster zone, it's kind of a little bit annoying to play around, but you won't have any problem. So, this is all I have for my beautiful discussion of these two decks. Uh, we'll, we'll eventually get more into this. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to the future of the established metagame world. Uh, we're going to have to wait and see how that goes, though, because to be completely honest with you, the OCG is bullshit right now, but that bullshit will soon be in our game, and you best pray that something like Masterpiece gets to stay around to protect you from the big bad enemies that are coming, because Masterpiece is inherently broken, but watching your opponent tribute it for a cost, that'll be even better. <laughs> uh That'll be the time. All right, guys. I'm out later. The ride never ends, guys. Make sure you enable those notifications to get the latest videos that are being posted on this channel. Make sure you guys check out Van Cole 40 for my Cardfight Vanguard channel. And join me and House of Champions on the Zodiac Duelist TV Twitch stream. I will be interacting with our audiences. And please check out No Limit Gaming and LGTCG.com for the cheapest trading cards on the market. Thanks for watching, guys, and please have a good day.